This segment of Delmarva Live is brought to you by Delmarva Dental Services. Well, I'm sure you've heard the saying, it takes a village to raise a child, but that village is a lot more than just people. There are often tools that can help raise our children, and two of them, a lot of kids and parents, for that matter, can't do without, are the pacifier and the sippy cup. But have you ever wondered if either of those can be having an impact on your child's mouth? Well, joining us today to tell us more about that are Drs. Joe Harmon and Robert Esham with Delmarva Dental Services in Salisbury. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jeremy, for having us. Dr. Harmon, let me ask you this about the, the pacifier, the binky. It, it's, everybody thinks it has so much of a soothing quality. Does it really? Well, it does. And in fact, uh, studies have shown that uh, it, it will actually reduce pain, minor pain. It's used for that. Okay. And it's also used to help prevent uh, you for a child from putting their fingers or their thumb in their mouth. Okay. And it reduces hospital stays, the length of a hospital stays in uh, infants. So it's not just physical, it's... it's Psychological. It's as psychological as well. Yes. And there really is a, a good effect from this. So it sounds like a good thing to do. But, but there are disadvantages as well, uh, Dr. Esham? Let me just add to that one. Uh, speech uh, pathologists and speech therapists who in turn have children, they, they're bound and determined to not use a pacifier. Uh, I think uh, vast studies have shown that they end up using pacifiers just for their own peace of mind and et cetera. Okay, so when it comes and, to uh, but go ahead. When it comes to our child's development, their mouth, their their face, their entire face, can this be a problem? Most definitely, uh, but that's um, only really after they're two years of age. Okay. And previous to that, um, is reference to their facial development, yeah. as you expressed. Uh, no, there is no real long-term problem with that. Okay, so you've brought different pacifiers mm -hmm. here, and they look different to me. Why the different shapes? The, uh, this particular one is basically used in hospitals for preemies and uh, it has been studied uh, over and over but basically what it amounts to is that there is, uh, the child will, or infant will leave the hospital earlier using a pacifier than not. Uh, wow. But there are no uh, reasons, of, I mean in refer reference to weight gain or yeah. any in that order or oxygen levels, et cetera. But you've got different shapes here. Is okay. there one in particular I should go with? And then in turn, I'm sure, well, most of us have heard the orthodontic pacifier is the better one in reference to keeping uh, the oral shape as it should be. Right. Basically, there are many studies, again, that, indi that indicate that uh, there is no difference okay. in the results as long as the child stops around the age of two years. So personal preference, just make sure you're timing. What about the sippy cup? Okay. The sippy cup is basically the only value that it has is, of course, is saving your carpets and your furniture and et cetera in reference okay. to the spills. <laughs> okay. But uh, from the standpoint, it is a transition piece or a training piece for uh, the infant to, to go from the breastfeeding or bottle feeding right. to the straw cup. That's what this one here. Okay. And uh, basically, it's just like a pacifier. The, uh, the sippy cup. It makes the tongue go down or below. Okay. And uh, so from that standpoint, inherently, when the child swallows, the tongue is going forced out. And you do not want that as a long-term process. That creates uh, a habit called tongue thrusting. That in turn basically makes this, the face skinnier. Okay. So, Crossbites, so, uh, overjet, those types of terms. So the pacifier not past the age of two. What about the sippy cup? The sippy cup should be used only for a month. For from, a month? For the period of time when the infant has uh, stopped breastfeeding or bottle feeding to the point that in turn they can handle the straw cup. Okay. So is there a certain time we should start using the pacifier? Start using? Okay. The uh, should start using the pacifier basically after a month of breastfeeding or bottle feeding. Okay. The indicated for using it that fashion is to allow, again, uh, the baby and mom to get used to the breastfeeding or bottle feeding. Right. Then in turn, uh, after that, to use it for about six months 
and then in turn start weeding the individual A or weaning, I guess, or what is the right word? <laughs> <laughs> and weaning them off of that and, off, yeah. and moving on. Yeah. Dr. Harmon, Dr. Esham, thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. You're welcome. Some great thank information. You. Thank you. We're glad we came to you for that. Now, if you'd like to read more about Delmarva Dental Services, all you have to do is go to WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page.